We're going to discuss inventory, but in order to start that discussion, we really have to understand how goods are shipped. That's why we're starting with this question, INV-1. Companies ship goods to their customers, and the shipping terms can be either FOB destination or FOB shipping point. What do these shipping terms mean? Let's start with understanding what FOB means. FOB means free on board. Now, that is in relationship to the receiver. It indicates how long the product has been in transit before it starts being charged to the receiver. Free on board to the receiver. Now let's use a diagram in order to explain FOB destination and FOB shipping point. It makes sense that FOB shipping point is at the doors of the shipper's location. That's why it's called shipping point. If we tie in the definition of FOB, free on board, this means that shipping is free to the receiver only until the shipping point. The moment it leaves the shipper's doors, the receiver is responsible for it, pays for the shipping costs, and also owns the inventory. So remember, FOB shipping point means it's free to the receiver until it comes out of the doors of the shipper's location. The receiver owns the inventory while it's in transit, is responsible for inventory damages if they happen in transit, and they pay 100% of the freight cost to ship the goods from one location to the other. That's why when I draw this line, I have an arrow going straight to the receiver, because it's the receiver who takes full responsibility for the inventory while it's in transit. You can now imagine what it means if the shipping terms are FOB destination. Remember the definition of FOB, free on board to the receiver. So that means it's free to the receiver while it's in transit. It's free to the receiver until it arrives at the receiver's doors, the destination. That means that the shipper owns the inventory, is responsible for the inventory and pays the freight costs. If product is shipped FOB destination free on board until it arrives at the receiver's location, the shipper owns the inventory while it's on the truck. If it's damaged on the truck in transit, the shipper is the one who's responsible for replacing it, plus the shipper pays all the freight costs. That's why when I draw the line for FOB destination, the arrow is pointed at the shipper because it's the shipper's problem while it's in transit. FOB shipping point, it's the receiver's problem while it's in transit. Why are freight terms so important to understand? Well, three reasons. One, it determines who's going to pay the freight costs, and we have to record those freight costs in a specific manner. So we need to know who pays so that we can record it appropriately. Two, if inventory is damaged in transit, it allows us to know whether we can return the inventory or not, whether we're stuck assuming the costs of the damaged inventory, or whether we can return it to the individuals who shipped it to us. And finally, it indicates who owns that inventory, and we need to know who owns the inventory so that we can either add it or subtract it from the inventory count. So remember, FOB shipping point, it's the receiver's problem. FOB destination, it's all about the shipper. What about credit terms? Well, that's what we're going to cover in our next video.